Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. My name is Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to hide the page footer on the first page of your reports. Today's question comes from Bill in Williamston, South Carolina, one of my gold members. Bill asks, is it possible to show a page footer on a report only when that report has more than one page? Bill posted this today in the access forum on my website, and I went back and checked all my course outlines, and I haven't covered this in any of my classes. So I said to Bill, let me put together a tech help video for that. All right, let's start with my blank customer template. You'll find a link to download this on my website in the description below. There's a blank, blank template, and there's a simple customer template. It's got a basic customer form in it and a customer table, but we don't have any reports in here. So let's go ahead and make a quick report. So create and then report design. We're going to base this report on the customer table, the only one we got. So let's check the record source here and set that to customer T. Now let's put some data in here in the details section, open up existing fields, and let's bring in all of this stuff. Drop it right there. We want this to be nice and big so it goes on multiple pages. Okay, looks good. Let's slide it all up like this. Let's save this as my customer R. And let's just take a quick peek at it. Now, when you open up a report in this normal view, it doesn't really give you a good accurate view of what this is going to look like. So I like to go into print preview all the time. So right click and then print preview. This tells you what it's going to look like when you actually print it. All right. Let's set our margins real quick. Let's go to wide. And you can see what they look like there. Okay. I hate that alternating background color. See how it goes to gray. Although, let's see here, design view. Let's change that real quick. Let's open up the detail section property. See how it's got background one and then darker 5%. I like to use the system colors, the standard colors, just like that. Copy it and put it down here too. Sometimes for demonstration purposes, it's nice to be able to see that, but that's really good for if you've got like very, very short rows here. All right, let's come down and put a page footer down here. Now the classic page footer is to put the number of pages. So let's grab a text box, drop it down here anywhere you want, get rid of the label. I cover this in my Access Beginner Level 9 class. Go ahead and open up the properties for this guy. Let's just call this my page text. And the control source is going to be equals the word page, a space, close the quotes, and page number like that, and a space, and put of in there, and pages like that all right what that is is that says page one of six or page two of five whatever you happen to be on page and pages are spe specific keywords and access will substitute those for the actual page number all right so i'll bold that maybe format bold all right let's save it close it and preview it okay looks good all right yeah, I'll turn the border off and all that stuff, but let's get it working first, all right? It says page two, page three, page four, and I've only got four customers, right? Yeah, there's four customers in there. Okay, so we have a page footer. Now, Bill doesn't want that page footer to show up unless there's more than one page. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to hide that page footer on the first page. That way, if there's only one page, it won't show up. Now, there's a page footer property. All right, come in here to the properties for the report. Double click right there. All right, I like to sort this one by alphabetical up here and then come down and find page footer. Where are you? Right there, page footer. There's page footer and page header. Okay, there's tons of properties in here. And I haven't covered a lot of these in my classes. They've added some new ones since I did my beginner courses. Drop this down. There's some different options. There's not with report header, not with report footer, and not with report header and footer. That means if you select this first one, it doesn't print on the first page if you have a report header. Okay? This one, it won't print on the last page if you have a report footer, and this one, it won't print on the first and last page. So pick not with report header. Okay? Let's save that, close it, print preview it, 
Okay, and now it's gone. Because the, the report header, even if you don't have it specified, it's still there. All right, you, you can show it in here if you want to by right-clicking and picking report header footer. There it is. And again, get rid of that dumb color. Okay, and you can just shrink it up to nothing. Even if you don't have it, it still generates. Same thing with the page footer or the report footer. Okay, but now you won't see it on the first page because it won't show up with the page header. All right. And you can do the same thing for the last page. If you don't want it to show up at the last page, then just come in here in the properties, right? And go to, where is it now? Page footer and pick that one. Not with report header or footer. It won't print on the first or last page. All right, same thing with the page headers. You can turn the page headers off. All right, save it, close it. Come back in here, give me a preview. All right, nothing on page one. There it is on page two. Page three, page four. Well, this one you might need a report footer. Let's see. Let's put a report footer in here. Let's just put something in here. Print preview. All right, let's see. Yep, there you go. That one, sometimes you do have to have something there. All right. There's my report footer, that little thing right there. And it, and it shut that off. Okay, so that one was nice and sweet, and Bill, I hope that shows you how to do what you needed to do. Want to learn more? In the extended cut for members, I cover more with printing on odd and even pages. I'll show you how to print book style. Microsoft Word calls it mirroring margins, but I'll show you how you can put an alternating page number on the even and odd pages on different sides, and the same with your margins, the page margins. Narrow on one side, wide on the other, and then alternate it for printing in book style if you want to do any double-sided printing. Again, that is the extended cut for members, silver members and up. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted. So if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just $1, and that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. If you have a specific problem you need help with or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this tech help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.